And welcome back to the State Farm Gamerhood Challenge, the home to some phenomenal and passionate gamers. It's also the perfect setting for a friendly neighborhood gaming tournament where our neighbors have teamed up to face each other in a variety of different challenges to decide who is the ultimate gamer and to receive the coveted key to the State Farm Gamerhood. To top it all off, our teams are each playing for a charitable cause with the winner getting $100,000 donated by State Farm in their name to the charity that they are gaming. For. That is awesome, Barbara. And gaming with your friends is even better when it's for a good cause in true good neighbor fashion. It is indeed. The State Farm Gamerhood is the place to celebrate all things gaming, from casual outdoor games to competitive online games and everything in between. And we love us some competition. Now, each day has three rounds. Round one will pit our teams against each other in a neighborhood challenge. The winning team will receive four points for the leaderboard and a very special State Farm delivery brought to you by the one and only Jake from State Farm. In round two, the teams will compete in an electrifying round of competitive online gaming for another four points. And the fun doesn't stop there. The winners of round two will then go up against Jake from State Farm in the final challenge, where they will wager five of their points for a chance to potentially double their score or risk losing it all. Ooh, each team will bring their points into the next round as scoring is cumulative throughout the day and over the entire five weeks of the Gamerhood Challenge. Now, there are so many plot twists, and you at home can play too. So make sure you go to statefarm.com slash gamerhood to play along with trivia for a chance to win some pretty awesome prizes. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely oh. not playing along. <laughs> uh, okay, well, look, the, here's the thing. You're going to be competing against everyone else playing at home to achieve a high score. So make sure you answer those questions with speed and accuracy to climb up the leaderboard. And don't worry if you missed one. I missed one. No, 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 no worries, Barbara. You're going to be fine because trivia will pause for you until you're ready to hit next. Oh, wow, that's sweet. Then I'll, I'll catch up later on this one. There you go. For all of you watching out there, you'll probably recognize the one, the only, the incredible Golden Boy. I'm Golden Boy. And next to me is the fabulous and amazing Barbara Dunkelman. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Well, it is time to get this show started because this is, is the, the State, State Farm, Farm Gamerhood Challenge. Challenge. Stepping up and batting a thousand, no stress. Ten out of ten, the best of the best, no cracks under your feet. All life's walking down the street. It tastes like the sweetest treat in your life. Playing with your friends on a summer night, smiling at your player two has joined the fight. Makes me feel alive. Golden Boy, I don't know about you, but I'm very excited to see what unique challenges today's games will bring. Yeah, same here, Barbara. And you know what? That's not the sugar talking, and trust me, I've had a lot of these marshmallows, but every day in the gamerhood is unique. But the one thing that we can always count on is seeing some great gamers have tons of fun while fighting for the top spot on the leaderboard and the chance to win $100,000 for the charity of their choice. Last week, we saw our four teams sharpen their performance skills in charades, weather a wicked windstorm during Splitgate, and finally, Ludwig and Typical Gamer going up against Jake from State Farm and his special guest, Isaiah Photo, in Giant Ladder Toss. 
and what a game it was. They wagered five of their hard-earned points, but even their combined gaming skills just weren't quite up to the challenge of taking on Jake from State Farm and Isaiah Photo, who ended up taking the lead and winning Giant Ladder Toss for a surprising end to a beautiful day. Absolutely, very surprising. And that was only the start. If you at home missed out on the fun, make sure to check out statefarm.com slash gamerhood for all Gamerhood episodes, as well as a chance to play along with trivia to win some sweet, sweet prizes. That's right, Barbara. The sun is out, and we are ready for another day of fantastically indulgent Gamerhood goodness. <laughs> Today, we're starting off with a blinding challenge that will surely test our teams on their communication and navigation skills. It seems our neighbors woke up this morning and found themselves all out of sugar. Fortunately for them, in the Gamerhood, you can always rely on your neighbor for an extra cup of granulated sweetness. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> For round one, our teams will work together to navigate through a maze across the street to reach their neighbor's supply of sugar. And the goal is simple. The team with the most amount of sugar at the end of the rounds wins. I think we win right now. Oh, yes. Well, I'm quite satisfied. For the term being. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's easy as sugar pie. Yeah, well, look, I can't wait to watch. Then let's go, because it's time for the sugar maze. Okay, let's do this. Yes. Neighbors, it is wonderful to have you all here. And first and foremost, uh, welcome back to Gamerhood. Now, of course, we had typical gamer and Ludwig take on Isaiah Photo as well as Jake from State Farm. Unfortunately, you guys fell in an epic game of giant ladder toss. But what are you guys going to do today to kind of like make back those points? Win. We're, we're going to do our. Win. We're going to do our best, and I'm going to have a firm word with Jake. <laughs> a okay. firm word. He's not going to do what he did to me again. Okay. Okay. We can forgive, but we don't forget. Oh, wow, that's wow. a little dark. Well, okay. Jake is very nice to forgive so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jake is quite We're going to storm the castle. Okay, <laughs> all right, this has gone to the deep end now. I wasn't expecting this. I know. Right. Well, guys, we love to hear it, but BK and Christology, you guys killed it last time. Uh, in Splitgate. Not so hot on the charades. No. You know? No. Why'd you have to remind me, Barbara? Right. No, you quick, but it's like the sand fell from your hand. A you little know? bit. But you guys are in third place. You're not in last yeah, place. Exactly. You know, Ludwig and Typical Gamer took that spot from you guys. Right. Thank you. So, uh, Thanks. how confident do you guys feel today starting off in your first challenge? Honestly, we feel pretty confident. We have an advantage. Mm -hmm. We're agile. Yes. We're amazing. Mm -hmm. We're beautiful. That okay. part. What, what else? No arguing There's a lot. Points. There is yeah. a lot. All facts. All facts. All facts. Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, Ninja and Jess, you know, you guys had a topsy turvy day yesterday, but you find yourselves in second position. Oh my Congratulations. Okay. God, I'll take that. Okay. So, Let's go. Well, <laughs> now that you're in this spot, though. You know, you guys seem to be uh, the, the strategy group here. You guys really seem to be planning it out. Are you already seeing how you're going to try and conquer this challenge today? Listen, relationships are all about communication, just like this next game coming up. Are we hanging already? Oh, what are we doing? Was that it? <laughs> are we doing a thing? Ooh! Come on, you already, already know. You already know. That's marriage goals right Come there. On. That's marriage uh, goals. So you're Absolutely. Ready. We're, uh, okay. Communication is everything we're going to I like how Berlusi and Dante are now making a secret handshake. It's a little late. Yeah. It's a little late, boys. It's a little late, yeah. It's, oh, oh, bring it up. Yeah, bring it down. Well, that brings yeah. us to uh, our. Our That's first happening. place holders Absolutely. right now. Absolutely, Berlizzi and Dante, you guys are starting strong after the incredible round of Splitgate, finishing the day in first mm -hmm. place. No surprise. I mean, well done. No surprise. You all seen it coming. That's okay. incredible. Are you guys ready to defend your title in first place today? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, not defend, just have fun and just do okay. what we usually do. Like, yeah. I like that, know, yeah. That sounds way more appropriate. Yeah. 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 Don't be like that. <laughs> defend makes us I mean, like we're really actually trying. Uh, oh, wait a minute, communication, right? Mm, mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know? Hey, that was great. Everyone I needed mean, a cringy handshake. Still chokes harder. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, Golden Boy, it sounds like our neighbors are ready to start racing for some sugar. Shall we go over the rules? Yeah, I got you guys covered. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to have two rounds of seven minutes each, all right, with one neighbor from each team racing to get the most sugar by the end of the round. 
All right. four players must do their best to navigate through the maze, retrieve a cup of sugar from the sugar stack, find their way back, and pour their cups into their designated scale. That's important. Yes. Remember that, okay, because there's labeled with your name. Different shapes and everything like that. They have an entire seven minutes to make as many trips as they can while spilling as little sugar as possible. You know, there's a, gonna be a catch here, okay, guys, because our neighbors are gonna have to navigate through the maze while wearing both a blindfold and giant mittens. Oh. So, yes. Giant mittens. Giant mittens. <laughs> so that, that should be quite fun. Yeah, well, yeah. it sounds like we're going to need a lot of trust and dexterity in this one, Golden Boy. Indeed you will, Barbara. Ah. Now, uh, losing sight and touch will require them to rely on their teammates' directions, so communication is gonna be very key here in order to navigate the obstacles that lie ahead. A true test of their teamwork prowess. Indeed it is. Now, uh, for our special third round, all eight neighbors are going to navigate the maze together for one final chance to collect as much sugar as possible so that their team can walk away with the victory. Yep, so they will have to work on memorizing the maze as well, I believe. Well, Barbara, here's the thing, right? Whichever team has the most sugar at the end of the game wins. Simple as that. Yes, well, teams, may the sugar scales be ever in your favor. Enchanté. Wow. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. All right. All right, guys. Do you know who's going to go first for each team? All right. You would you like to go first? Sure. OK. All right. Michael's going first for our okay. team. We got BK. We got Jess going up first. No, no I'm going up first. Okay. All right. Nick is going up first. OK. We got Dante going up first for their team. All right. And it looks like we got That's Typical easy. Gamer That's going easy. up first. Here's what we oh, got. Okay. All right. Before we get started, make sure you get all set up and ready to go. Before you put your blindfolds on, just go ahead and stand here right on the starting line, and then we will be good to go. When everyone's ready, I will get the countdown going, and we will start. Neighbors! Hold on, let's test these blindfolds real not quick. Ready. You're not ready. Walking around here. I don't even know if I have it. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 that's aggressive. Oh, okay. oh. Okay, they're good. They're, they're blindfolded. Yeah, no one you don't have to project, okay? I'm, 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 I'm using cold words. words. I'm using okay. cold words. You didn't think about that. Neighbors! Neighbors! What? Are right. you I got ready? You, okay. Ready! Come All on. right, do we have seven minutes on the clock? We have boy. seven minutes on the clock. And three, two, one, go! <laughs> Oh, I think Ludwig might have just remembered things and Ninja's just following. Oh, there. Oh, straight, straight, Lud. Straight, straight. straight, straight. Left, left, left. 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 It's left. Dante, forward, forward. forward. The thing is, is that they can't forward. do anything about it. They, if they damage the maze, that only is going to hurt them in the end. True. Don't forward. Oh, my God, Merlin. You're almost there. There you go. There you go. Reach down. I almost feel bad for oh. saying anything because they got to listen to their team. How much does BK have? Keep going. No, two, one. Has... Okay, under, under. Come to my boys! Come to my boys! You're going, you're doing great! It's working, doing great. it's working. Okay, go straight, straight, straight All right. to the table. Okay. Now, now right she's gotta find the right, right one, there, right there. the right yes, one. Yes, ma'am. Is that the right one? Oh, that was a huge, huge play there. Left, 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 left. Right there, yeah, yeah, right there, yeah. It's there, it's there, it's there. It's there. It's there. Yeah, we, we gotta get out of the way. Ludwig's got it. Ludwig's got it. left right in front of you. Go forward just a little bit more. A little bit more. We got it. No yep. touching. Oh, you can't touch. touch. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. 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 To the left. To the left. To the left. All right, now straight. Straight. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, BK. You're there. You're there. Okay, come back. There's people coming back. Be careful. All right, now come, come through. There yeah, you go. Almost. There yeah, you go. Meanwhile, back on the track. BK already has another set. Oh, I don't think Ninja got anything from there. Just a bit. So. Okay, okay. You got it. Come back. Come back. Left, left, left. Left. Wait, yeah, right, right there. Be careful. Be careful. Gentle. You got this. Gentle. Oh, 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 she missed the entire container. Oh, ooh, okay. Yes, yeah, keep going. Well, Barbara, this seems like something that worked really well in concept, but in execution, it is quite pandemonium. It seems like our neighbors are just scattered all over the place. There you go. Get some sand. Knock his out his hands! Knock his out his hands! Perfect! Yeah, Perfect! 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 Okay! Perfect. Look at BK! Final. 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 Judges! Final. Judges! Judges! Is calling shenanigans! Oh, my Ninja! Oh, my Ninja is now... Ninja has, okay, I think, a good amount of sugar. He does. He better hold on to it tight. He does. Okay. This is going to be the first, oh, first dump for them. 
Big, big expansion into a huge game. It's all right. All right, we're at four minutes. You're okay. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. 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 Follow me, bro. Follow me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's you're good. He's you're amazing. Good. I left, cannot. left, left. Then the gate is, look, left. reach out okay. your left hand, yeah, forward, a little farther, a little farther, to, to the left, to the left. Yeah, Meanwhile, Dante's okay, struggling to be able to put a little bit of a sugar in the scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good use yeah, of the clock there. Well played. Yes, okay, you're doing great. Yeah, 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 yeah. do a little jog. All right, under. We got BK coming back with yet another Here's couple Here's BK. Turns. Oh, Ooh. the knockover. That's okay. fine, though. Judging gonna fix. All right, all right, forward. Okay, you're right, okay, forward. All right, let's, let's, oh. Oh, oh. Good heavens. Almost knocked over everything. Big almost knocked over everything. Oh, a good pour, a and good honestly, pour. In true New Yorker fashion, BK just really making her presence felt. Wow. But Ninja's right there too. What a, what a, what a rebound from Ninja. Now, Ludwig is back with more sugar. He's gonna fill his cup up. He's got a lot of sugar. There you go. Okay, here comes Dante. Dante's still trying to get a little bit of sugar. Oh, oh head on collision. Another collision. But good use of the gloves there from Dante to it's hold on true. to his sugar. That's right, under, uh, uh, under, be careful. Wait, no, you're going. Oh, I'll be careful. There's a big, oh, it's falling. It's falling. Oh, 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 oh. They, that's the thing, their teammates cannot touch the maze. You cannot touch the maze. Right from the table, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. There you go. Oh, this no, no, no. Is bad. Uh, behind you. Nine, uh, yeah, you go. Yep. Left one more time. Straight ahead. The table, okay, I'm going to go in there and fix the maze real fast. I got you. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Oh, wait, wait, BK, stop right there. Come back. Oh, my God. It is full. Underneath, underneath, underneath. Left, left. Like a good neighbor. Like a good neighbor. Oh. And I think we might be at a max capacity for Ninja and Jess. Like Sugar's right in front of you. You got it. And scoop. Perfect. Oh, don't you do that, Ludwig. Don't what do you mean? Do okay. Okay. Good, good, good. No, to your left, to your left, to your left. Oh. Close, close. close. Go to the right. Straight ahead. Three, two, one. Okay, you're there. All right, we are, we are at the two minute warning. Oh, BK and Dante with a Okay, yeah, forward, collision. forward, forward. On, on BK, underneath. Oh, okay, BK is right. rushing through the maze. Yeah. They are overflowing their sugar. I mean, I can't imagine how much else they have, but might as well. Straight, straight. Straight, straight. Full straight, full straight. There you go, it's overflowing. It's over. I don't know what else we can do. Keep Just going. Do might as well try and get more. I don't know. Okay. It's okay, she's early, so she'll be fine. Okay, so so far uh, we have two teams that are overflowing their container with sugar. Yeah, I have two more teams that I think just wanna put those finishing touches. Yeah, well we are we are just about to hit a minute left. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm okay. lying. Spark is lying. He uses the sign. Okay, go forward, go forward. To the left! <laughs> to the left! Oh. Left! Yeah, <laughs> what is Dante doing? He's having a fight with a bush over on the other side by Barbara's front porch! Right there, right in front of you! Do right uh, they need the lids on? You know what? We have 50 seconds remaining. Everyone's protecting their property. Right, no, just stay there. Yeah, just stay there. Protect, protect it. I, I, this, protect I think if you can get the lid on it, that would be uh, okay. probably so, a plus. Right. Put, oh, they played you. Put, All right, bro. It's hey, bro. It's, it's, hey, it's right, over, bro. Right. 30 seconds. Hey, well, just 30, 30, no. yeah, that's fine. <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's fine. Look, that's that's fine. fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine, bro. That's fine. That's All right, guys, you got a couple of seconds to All right. Well, Give I think that time. we're just going to call it time. Hands up. Hands up the sugar. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Wow. Hands up. That's just great. Oh, shit. All right. Guys, we are going to reset, but I have to say, somehow, you guys have managed to take our beautiful neighborhood and, well, make it a little bit more beautiful. What? Sweeter, I think. It looks like we had a bit of a chaotic start to this game. And the good news is everyone did such a fantastic job. You guys all feeling good? Yeah. Hey. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I feel like I'm winning when I hang out with my neighbors. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. That's, that's, that's a good guy. That's a good guy.
Okay, well, guys, make sure for the next competitors coming up, make sure you get those blindfolds on. You have your uh, comically Little large mix. gloves. And there was an update because you guys were just so fast last round that it's now a five minute timer instead Ooh. of a seven minute timer. So a little bit more urgency. So uh, why not jump right into it, huh? Yeah, let's get lined up, get your pairings going. And then remember, no touching your teammate and no touching the course if you are not oh, playing. Stay on the outside. That's right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Make sure everyone hey, hey, hey. gets Chivalry space. Is, not dead. Make sure Chivalry Ludwig, is. make sure everyone gets space. Good, good. Okay. And try not to ingest too much sugar as you guys go. That's either. right. Yeah. Barbara, would you like to do the honors? I would love to do the honors. All right. All right, neighbors, on your mark. Get set, sugar! Go, 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 go. Yep. Hit the wall, touch the wall. You're good. Laugh, 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 laugh. She's blocking it, she's blocking it. Well, yep. Yep. we have five minutes on the clock now, Barbara. We sure which is do. gonna add a little bit more pressure to our neighbors. Seems like Berlizzi's using the left side here and has a clear path. Oh, go right, 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 right. I can't even right. see what he's doing yep. down there. Yep, keep going he's right, keep going right. He's getting a little right. caught up on left, the barriers. Left, 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 left. Straight, straight ahead, straight ahead. He's trying to, he's actually colliding with Jess. But typical gamer is the first one. Chrysology is off in uh, Sugarland. Yeah, she's taking her time. Slow and steady. Right, a little to your right. A little you're to your right. You're okay. You're okay. Straight, straight, keep straight, going. Keep straight, going. Straight. You're home free. Okay. okay. And it looks like typical uh, right. gamer is already yeah. on his way back. No, no. Left, 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 left. Straight, 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 straight. Left. Now left. Dante's giving some instructions. Confusing. Oh, we have a right, collision. Right, right, right. A okay, sugar right, bomb. Right. Typical you Gamer is the first one to make it that's across. A sugar, that's a sugar. Now right. Ludwig's going to be guiding his teammate Follow right to the scale. Follow Very my voice. Good. Follow my voice. We're safe. You We're and I need now. to watch We're out here. We're out of the We're way together here. Now. We're together now. It's right here. It's right here. Wait, wait, wait. Take off the top. Take oh, off. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. Now pour it in. Pour it in. That is going to create some interesting circumstances. We're going to go straight, and now this under, 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 under. A little bit to your left. You got this, Krista. You got this. You got this, Krista. Big pour for typical oh, gamer. Huge pour. Almost filled up this entire container. Okay, someone's close to you. Someone's close to you. Straight to me. Straight to me. Three and a half oh, minutes straight. left. A little bit right. A little bit right. A little bit right. Okay, straight to gamer. Right back. And you're almost at the edge. A little bit of it's still right? there from typical and gamer. You're there. Straight but it forward. It looks like forward. Christology is headed straight back to me. Straight to me. Cup. Our cup's right okay. in front. The lid is on. It's right in front. Right in front of you. Christology. You got this. She's got a grab. Other right, other there right. There it is. Other, other, right other right and left is very important. Lift, lift, yep. Other right, oh AKA the left, depending on how you look at things. Beautiful. Now, find the, the top, find the top first. I think like I said, our neighbors have been hitting the scale so much that it seems as if the jugs are starting to wobble a little bit. Oh, man, they're, they're very, very good. good. Yeah. They're good. All right, here, now oh, stop. Turn, turn, turn. turn. Already All, right. Back with All right, wait, wait, the pour's oh, the Big, massive pour from typical gamer. Let's see if we can make it up. Straight ahead, straight ahead. People, 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 a little bit ahead of the game with their container yeah. almost completely full. Yeah, and TG ran right into the sugar. Oh, Berlizzi oh, took a massive spill. He is dead. Oh, the humanity. Did he get sugar or was that sugarless? That's the sugarless, but I think he realized that maybe the uh, base is a little comfortable, oh, Barbara. Where is he? It's just oh, ahead of the course. Oh, God. Berlizzi's falling apart at the seams. He's back in the course, though. All right, and Jess is heading back with a cup of sugar. Straight line, straight line, straight line, and now, now, feel for it, feel for it, feel for it. There you go, there you go, very good, just coming back. Ludwig speaking to typical gamer as if he's like a photographer and such, you know? Look at me, give me the good look. No touching, no touching, no touching, no touching. My bad, We have an issue, though. Boom, straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. How much time we got left? We have one minute. There you go. One minute, 30 seconds remaining. All right, yep, go that way, go that way. Now right, right, right. Well, it looks like Ludwig and Typical Gamer are in a great position here, but you know what? There could be opportunities for sabotage, Barbara. There could be. I don't know if there are. Inadvertent sabotage. Uh, accidental. Yeah, because when you think about it, I don't know if that's going to hold. To your right. To your right. We're doing a challenge. This way. Come on. You got it, you got it. Careful, we are crossing. Oh, okay. Okay, now That's the so guys, uh, we are going to take right your there. sugar right overflow there. so they could keep going. Okay, right sugar overflow is being accounted for. 
I think we got like 30 seconds left. Okay, a different no. color. They, that just oh, Berlizzi that running the, into the structure. That was, that was, the, that was the face. Okay. okay. That, no. Jess is going to play some now. Feel it out. Feel it out. Very good. Very good. Sugar's straight. Sugar's straight. Right in front of you. Keep going. Keep going. Beep, beep. You got it. You got it. We're getting real close. This way. 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 All right. Big cup. Big cup. 30 seconds remaining. Okay, stop. Step over there. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah, you're good. You're good. It's you're good. going to be taken back out. Oh, and a big collision there right. by That's Krista and Jeff. Right. Right. Berlizzi right. has right. lost himself right. in the sauce, the sugar sauce. Right. 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 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time! Well done. Well done. Hey, man. Wow! It's in here. Look what you did oh, here. <laughs> this is overflow. So, all right, guys, let's get ready and reset for round three. Come on over, guys. Good job. Round of applause. Well you did great. You, you, have great. A, you have a cramp. Don't worry. When you hit 30, it gets worse. It okay. Was it was great, except for the one where you knocked the cup over. That was tough. I actually also, I'm my, yeah, I'm sweating. Yes. Yeah. I'm sweating from guiding him more than doing it. I'm sweating watching you guys. I need sugar. Good job, guys. You the bucket, too. All right, guys, that brings us to our third and final run. Neighbors, are you feeling the sugar rush yet? All in yeah. my pants. Yeah. 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 Huh? All right, well, here's the deal, team. Okay, we have seen you guys crush this course, and like any good dev, we had to implement a balance patch. <laughs> so there are gonna be some unique obstacles that have been added this time around to further add to the enjoyment of the sugar rush. Yes, and because you guys did so well, we had to get these overflow, overflow buckets for your sugar. So just make sure you don't knock them over because you're all going to be blindfolded. If you do knock something over, that will reset you back to zero. So be very careful coming back in, okay? That's right. Okay, everyone. Uh, neighbors, why don't you line up all eight of you and uh, best of luck. This is so What's bad. the worst that could happen, right, right, Barbara? Yeah. And uh, we have a shortened period of time that they could do this course in, right? That's right. Three minutes on the clock. Blindfolds down now. Make sure your eyes are completely covered. And everyone, let's uh, let's just have fun, OK? <laughs> All, right. All right. Barbara, start us off. All right, neighbors, the final round. This one takes it all in three, two, one, go! OK, so we have three minutes on the clock, and they're all out there, so there's no one guiding them. Although it does look like Dante and Berlizzi are holding on to each other. OK. With Chris, oh, no, with uh, BK. With BK. BK's <laughs> all the way over there. She is throwing her hands up like she just don't care. We gotta but get look BK. at what Ninja's get doing. Get He's actually feeling the edges oh, of the maze left. all the way to the sugar. Oh, that could be a good strategy, especially with three minutes. Absolutely. Uh, and also, since both teammates are blindfolded, they're not going to know which bucket is theirs very easily when they no. get back to the table. And we most definitely will not help them. <laughs> uh, Absolutely seems, not. Seems like Jess is make left alone noise, inside noise. of the sugar maze and might have gotten Dante. trapped. Sand, 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 sand. Sure. Okay, she's using the voices of her colleagues, and here comes the first one now. It's going to be Ninja. Ninja is coming back. He is using the walls of the maze to guide him, which is a very smart strategy. That is a meta. He's coming around. He's trying to figure out which one is his. And I think that he it? might have figured it out, potentially. Oh it could also be Are you another homeless? neighbor's. Oh, and but then you never my ex. My ex. I my ex. Oh, OK, he felt his ex. He felt the ex. <laughs> Typical oh. gamer now making his way in. Typical gamer might be using the sound of our voice to guide him to his jar. Yeah, and who knows? We're probably going to be in another area next time. No, no, don't do that. Who the heck was that? Uh, it was me. Oh, OK. And here's BK on the approach. Hey, hey, hey JB. Hey, oh, hello, hi, bro. You look great. Hey, you look Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Buckets, buckets. You're yep. looking for your buckets. You're looking Dante's now made his way back to the front container. of the base. Hi, Dante. Uh, stands by me. Okay. Stands by me. Here's the your container up on there. Yeah, yes. there you go. Sorry. All right, hello, Dante. More time on the clock. This is too oh, good. Hello. Ludwig's now approaching. Yeah, oh, hello, that, Ludwig. That's a jar, you that's a yes. jar, you're there. You touch my chest like that. And we have just under one minute remaining. I think one I'm in the minute maze. remaining. Step it into your container, I'm, I'm, I'm okay? Okay. I think I'm. I'm so lost. And now, typical gamer is on the approach. 
All right. Oh, oh, Thank you. Oh, you're the wall. Come right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Tables right here. Tables right here. And then you can do the yep. rest. Right we there. Oh, wow. Well, they're doing well. Yes, they are. Good job, everyone. You're doing so well. So good. Don't hurt me. I'm coming. Don't hurt me. I'm coming. Don't hurt me. We got to go. We got to go. Don't hurt me. I'm coming. Don't hurt me. I'm coming. No. No. You move. Go, 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 go. Oh, gosh. Don't hurt me, I'm coming, watch out. All right, we have 10 seconds remaining. 10 seconds. And now it's five, four, three, two, one. No, oh, 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 okay, so coming in close. a little too last. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened, Thank guys? You. What happened? Wow. Okay. You know what? Oh. Thank you. Neighbors, bring come back to the starting line. Good job, everyone. I felt it. I felt it for the first one. They must have switched it after. All right, guys, we're gonna weigh your sugar. They twisted it. They spun it. They spun it. I don't know who would do that. I don't know who would do that. I knew they were going to. That's why I put this on for the first one. I'm, I don't know how many more I got though, because I left it off. I didn't put it back on. Come on up. Come on over, guys. Come on over. Holy. Dante. All right, my sweet neighbors. Great job on the sugar race. How you guys feeling? Sweaty, uh, dirty? Uh, I very feel like I'm back in gym class. Gross. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that was a very well thought effort. We're gonna see who takes the cake on that one. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, that was a little sweet. <laughs> All right, here we go. First up, it's Crystology and Black Crystal, and the total is seven and a half. Seven and a half. Pounds. Oh, pounds? She still's got this out. She still's got this Yes, pounds. Seven and a half pounds. <laughs> Next up. We got Ninja and Jessica. And the total is? Just under eight and a half pounds, so eight and a quarter. Not bad, not well bad. Done, well done, Unfortunately for BK Christology, that is not a good result for you. And then we have Brilliese and Dante. Drumroll. That's a seven pounds even. Yes, yes, That's yes. A, yeah. That's a healthy seven pounder. Healthy seven pounder, like a newborn baby. Yep. The last oh, one oh, here. Oh, this one looks promising. Ludwig and Typical Gamer had. Whoa, 10 and a quarter. Oh. 10 and a quarter. Ludwig, Typical Gamer, you're a winner. What was your strategy? BBC for sure. Uh, my strategy was getting one cup, and for every cup I got, he got two. <laughs> and that, that generally worked. And I think that puts us still not even close to first place. So yeah. That's yeah, you guys are one. climbing back up to the yeah. to there. And, and yeah. mine was just uh, treat it like a maze, put your hand on the left side, and just speed run it as okay. fast as you can. And okay. then just All worked out. full speed. And I just ran into the full sugar speed. pit. Yes. Ran, yeah. It was, I, uh, I did see some collisions from time to time. Yeah. BK, you did a three point stance and ran right into Dante, but it was pretty epic to watch. <laughs> uh, how, how was it for you out there, especially considering all the obstacles? Intense. I was just trying to tone everybody out and just count my steps. <laughs> <laughs> just focus in. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I saw a Christology actually almost a little zombie like make her yeah. way around. Slow and steady. Yeah, you know, I may have. I, I ran into Jess. I don't know who I was running into. <laughs> I ran into everyone, my yes. apologies. And it's okay, like we found our way to the sugar together. Yeah. You did. You made it through. Well, you guys all did a great job. Do you feel like you have any regrets, Ninja and Jess? You know? Uh, just, just I wish, um, you know, I, I went a little faster. A little faster. And then also, I wish I put also, on the, the cup sizes should have been more even. The chalk. I'm not trying to get into like, you know. There's a lot of overfill that wasn't even. You know, the <laughs> astrology of the whole thing, yeah. right? The mathematics, but like, I would have liked a, a bigger yeah. cup. But that's fine, you know, okay. because yeah. you never know what's going to happen in the game, right? Mm. And uh, mm. Berlizzi, you took a trip over to the left side uh -huh. and yeah. stumbled a few times. Times there, I felt uh, but did you did you find that you know as you were trying to navigate through the maze that yeah. you were struggling to be able to uh, find your way through? Was Dante giving you good instructions? Dante always gives good instructions. That's Excellent. the second time you tried to separate us. That's crazy. I did. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. But but I will say, but I will say, post I'm realizing I should have scooped two. That's the technique we didn't do. We should have grabbed two cups. Uh, you're only allowed one, so you're only allowed one. Well then. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job, everyone. Seriously, that was super fun to watch. And uh, that means that Ludwig and Typical Gamer, you will be getting the special delivery from Jake from State Farm. Well done. What a game, guys. The chaos, the confusion, the pageantry. I live for this.
You live for sugar mazes in particular? Well, for sugar and mazes. Ah, well, the more you know. Well, yeah, it was a, definitely an exciting one to watch. But, oh, oh, wait a minute, look at this, just on time. It looks like we have a special hey, delivery hey, coming our way. Tickle Tate Bar. Hey, how sure y'all doing, yeah. how y'all doing? Congratulations, I uh, have a special delivery for Ludwig and a typical gamer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. yeah. Listen, guys, so hey, so listen, I just yeah, want to let so. you know that it gets a little bit unpredictable here in the gamerhood, so I want to keep you covered, just in case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate so that, enjoy man. this. Yeah, congratulations on round one, guys. Yeah, yeah you know, stressful day one after what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're doing okay. And, and look, after the next round, I mean, I mean, you guys know what happens after. Yeah. So. What, what <laughs> no. happens? What? Well, then, then, then we play. Oh, oh, we oh play. you're after. Yeah, oh. yeah, after, after, yeah, that after, round. after, 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 after the round. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but thanks so much for yeah. this. Oh Let's yeah, 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 absolutely. That. Enjoy this. Sweet. You're definitely gonna need that. Um, keep the heat going, and I'll see you guys later. All right. All right. Cool. See you guys. He, we, he keep the heat going. Yeah, this looks... Nothing all too wow. ominous so and nice. so nice from uh, Jake from State Farm for dropping on by. I wonder what he ended up bringing our neighbors here. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will help in our next round when they go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe -to -toe in a very special challenge. Well, let's go ahead and take a quick pause for the cause and give our players a breather and let them set up, huh? Yeah, and for you at home, don't miss out on the fun. Join us at statefarm.com slash gamerhood to play along with trivia and a chance to win some amazing prizes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Go! Where am I? going and I'll see you guys later. Oh, hello everyone and welcome back to the State Farm Gamerhood Challenge. Before the break, we saw the neighbors race against the clock in the sugar maze with Ludwig and Typical Gamer taking a sweet lead and securing that State Farm special delivery to help them stay cool under the pressure of the next round. Yeah, they certainly played very well, Barbara, navigating through the obstacles while keeping a good communication and managing to spill as little sugar as possible. That's not easy. That performance put them in third place on the global leaderboard. All right, well, let's check in on that leaderboard, speaking of which. In first place, we have Berlizzi and Dante with eight points. In second, we have Ninja and Jess with seven points. And as we had mentioned before, Typical Gamer and Ludwig have six points. And rounding out the bottom in fourth, it is going to be BK and Christology with five points, but it's neck and neck. Absolutely. Well, let's check in with our neighbors. First up, playing for Habitat for Humanity, it's Ninja and Jess. Howdy, howdy. Hey, guys. Well, you guys are, are both staying very steady in second in place, are you feeling good going into the next round? Yeah, we got a couple of practice oh, yeah. rounds in here, and um, I'm feeling good. This is a fun game, and we're trying to get into that first place slot. Yeah, well, yeah, just listen, I mean, honestly, oh, I was gonna say, Dante, we're teaming up. I mean, the practice round, oh, Alex no. and, and Barbara, and I'm not. I don't like it. I already oh, no. feel it. Like, I mean, Ludwig was dragging me around the first game. I, this is. Uh, I feel a little collusion going on. Wow. Oh no. Do we need to have a, a talking to with the other players to make sure they play nice? Oh, I'd appreciate it, please. Do we have some sort of uh, some sort of referee that we can have step behind some of these players? Absolutely. I wow. promise you, I will talk to them about it, and I will. Thank I you have so your much, back. guys. Okay, I I don't know if she. Okay, well we'll roll with that one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, moving on though, playing for junior achievement, it's Berlizzi and Dante currently in first place, and it seems like not only you guys are focusing on having fun and good vibes, but you're both really focusing on being a solid core and a solid unit. Isn't that right, Berlizzi and Dante? What do you think, Dante? I mean, I think what he said was right. And also, Ninja uh, seemed to feel some type of way about our skills. Uh, yo, don't get mad, you know, get better. That's all I gotta say. Wow, some okay. trash talk already beginning. Not the game hasn't even started. I wasn't prepared for this, you know. Uh, and, and obviously, <laughs> Ninja's feeling a little a little perturbed uh, by that. Oh, great word. Yeah, I know, that was a good one. Pulled out the dictionary <laughs> for it. We'll see, though, how this plays out in the next game. But looking forward to seeing our next competitors. Absolutely, they are playing for the American Red Cross. It's BK and Christology. Hello, ladies. Hey. Hello. 
You guys feeling good? Do you think you'll be able to move up in the leaderboard after this round? Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, definitely. I have a couple hours in this game, so I know what I'm doing. I'm not scared. I'm here to win. There we go. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but BK, you have played this game before in this setting as well, so you know that there's a lot of pressure in these competitive Gang Beast matches. How are you feeling about this one? I'm feeling good. Listen, I know how to hang on for dear life, and I'm aware of Berlizzi and Dante Strat, so <laughs> I've got a game mm. plan. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk well, to him. Well, I just, uh, I want you guys to know I, I'm here to deliver a very special message for you. Uh, please uh, target Ninja, um, and yeah, just, oh. that's it. Okay. Wait, was that? Yeah. I don't think that was the message was it that not, was, was not, that not no. the message? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Moving on, though. We have Typical Gamer and Ludwig. Now, you guys are going to be playing for Feeding America, and so far, you're doing pretty well today. Granted, you know, you did lose a few spots in the leaderboard, but you find yourself in third position right now. But most importantly, fellas, Ludwig, what's in the box? What did Jake from State Farm give you? We look swag. I don't know if you can see me right now, dude. Oh, we, we can see you. We look good. You, yeah. you look great. That's a, that's a fresh <laughs> look for you. I appreciate that. Yeah, so I have zero plans of actually winning the game, uh, playing well, because I don't want to go up against Jake again, because that beautiful man stole from us. Okay, so you want to go up against Jake again. And no. by the way, okay, no. you don't want to go up I against Jake again. I don't want to see Jake unless he's giving me a gift. That's a, that's a strategy I did not expect to hear. So you want to get second, third, or fourth, so you don't have to give up your points to Jake again. That's exactly right. Yeah, second place is my goal. Okay, well, you know, I think some people would argue that losing to Jake is a gift in itself. That's true. That's yeah. true. An I would honor. happen to agree with that. Yeah, an honor, <laughs> some might say. But interesting strategy. It's a bold move. We'll see if it pays off for Ludwig. I know. Well, Jake from State Farm always knows what to bring to make it a little easier on our neighbors, but now I'm worried we might be slightly underdressed. Yeah, that kind of threw me off a bit, but I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, Barbara. What could possibly go wrong in the gamerhood. In any case, though, our next challenge will be taking place online, pitting our teams against each other in the ultimate SmackDown, Gang Beast. Ah, yes, I love this game. Well, listen up, neighbors, because here comes the rules. We'll be playing as many matches as possible in 45 minutes. The team with the most victories wins. Very simple, but this round is gonna be about teamwork, stamina, strategy. Each team will be doing their best to knock their opponents off the map, rack up those victories and get the dub. But to be sure to keep your focus, just make sure that you guys start things out strong, but doesn't mean you'll necessarily stay on top. So you're really gonna have to play your A game here, guys. So true, golden boy. So neighbors, stay calm and do your best because after this, the Gang Beast champions will be wagering five points against Jake from State Farm in the final challenge of the day. Good luck to everyone, and for you at home, if you haven't yet, make sure you go to statefarm.com slash gamerhood to play along with trivia for the chance to win some sensational prizes. Sensational. Oh, that's right. I'm telling you, busting off the dictionary today. <laughs> well, neighbors, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. Bring it All on, right. bring it on. Well, three, two, one. Go! Short okay. match. All right, we are getting into our first match. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay, so in Gang Beast, it's all about just staying on the platform as much as you possibly can. And remember, for our teams, they are going to have their assigned colors for them. And those colors are red for Christology and BK. Berlizzi and Dante will be in green. Jessica, as well as Ninja, will be in blue. And Ludwig and Typical Gamer in yellow. But it seems as if it doesn't matter because Christology manages to throw it. Everyone off, knock them down. Red picks up the first win. Let's go. All right. A yes. early lead That's for BK That's and Christology taking the first W of the game. Wow, we barely even had time to get into it, and we already have our first win. <laughs> okay, we in the ring. We in the right, ring. W.E. Super. All right, next game is starting right now. So far, though, it's going to be Christology and BK with the advantage. Oh, my goodness wow. gracious. No, you're in it. You're Dante in it. and Berlizzi just with a body slam over the top rope. Look like Andre the Giant in WrestleMania. Oh, my word. And I am seeing some incredible athleticism here. You're good. You're in this. Yes. knocked out. That is You got it. You got it. It's yours. Christology is a. Beast no, in this no, game. Christology might be 
the gang beast. She might be the gang beast, although it looks like uh, someone on the yellow team here is giving her a run for her money, but she is back in it when it looks like Dante. I think it might be, yes, it is actually Typical Gamer is in the matchup right now, uh, facing off, I want to say it is uh, Dante, and then you have Christology still in the fight. Absolutely, and uh, looks like they're just avoiding each other at this point, rather than going for that swoop, trying to throw them out of the ring. Well, if, I'm, if I am the green and yellow team, I want to throw Christology over the top rope as fast as possible. Work together here because she already has the point, but a massive hit there is going to knock out a few of those players. Christology's on fire. Christology now trying to go and see if she can get the pickup happen, but does not make it work. Oh, wow, a tandem throw, and this has been a beautiful display of violence. <laughs> a beautiful display of violence is actually the alternative name of Game Beasts. Uh, I did not know that today. I didn't know you were part of the dev team. That's incredible. But this match still continues on with everyone looking in awe. What an intense match we're watching here. They might have figured out that if they could just oh. pull Dante over the side, but it doesn't work he out. He's holding on for dear life. They're doing everything they can. What they got to do is knock the player out to try to throw them overboard. If they are still up, they might be able to fall back. So if they are knocked out, though, great strategy to, to kick them overboard. Indeed it is. Oh. One of the green players, that's going to be Christology, a typical gamer, but that's two points for the young hopefuls. Wow, it seems like Christology is the one to beat in this match. Are we going to start working together to get them out first? Or what? You have to be careful, and this stage is so challenging because, as you can already see, it's starting to come apart at the seams. Oh, absolutely. All right, we are back in it. This one, we are high above the ground in these window cleaners, I believe they are. You know, and if they are window Window cleaners, it's not the most uh, safe up to code equipment. Well, it's a good thing uh, someone's dressed as a construction worker. I guess so. I guess so. So, on the one side, we have blue facing off against yellow, but I think one of the players from the green team decided to jump into the fray, leaving their teammates to have to fend off a few members of the red team who clearly have the target on their back as it stands right now with two points up. Absolutely. And it looks like uh, Krista and BK are going after Dante and Berlizzi, trying to get them off there it seems like they are in quite the heavy competition with each other yeah well so far so good for team crystal and that's going to be one player out that's berlizzi he is sent to the shadow realm maybe one more player Got, might get tossed off though. We got a blue player that's looking to just join the action on the other side. Dante's trying to hold on for dear life and he gets back in. On the other side though, Team Yellow, uh -huh. they're just vibing out, waiting to see how this carnage unfolds. They're just hanging. Nothing that they really need to do here, but the problem is, you know, if they're not moving, that I, I, I think that those platforms could fall. And if they're moving a little too much, that might work out in the favor of the yellow team. So if I'm any, if I'm blue, if I'm green, I'm trying to jump over to the other side again. In yellow space. Ooh, you know, also another strategy I've seen in this game is if someone is dominating, other players might sacrifice themselves just to take them out. Yeah, and that is a perfectly sound strategy because you're trying to get them thrown over without giving yourself up. But in the case of Christology and BK, they are simply too strong right now. Two points up, and no one can seem to take them down. They are stone face, ready to take the competition. You say ready because they're red? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, wow. oh, we just lost a team. Blue member BK's down. And it looks like we're about to lose Dante as well, while Yellow Team just seems to be... What are they? Are they hanging out there? Well, I think Ludwig just fell off, and if the last player left is going to be Typical Gamer and Christology yet again. Dante just had to give it up, and this is it. It comes down to the last two. They're split up from one another, and there's no platform for them to get across. Dante is infuriated. Absolutely. Who will make the first move? Oh, Christology! Christology with the disrespect play! I, I've been playing Gang Beast for a long time. I don't think I've ever seen someone pull a move like that. That was insane. Incredible. Three for three anyway, for the crystal. Anyway. It seems like they looked into their magic ball and predicted victory because they are on fire. But we go on to the lighthouse now. You know what rhymes with victory is Christology. I don't know if that necessarily tracks Barbara, but we'll let you have it. It has a similar ring. Fair enough. Fair enough. Similar ring. We'll go for it. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> a quick knockout 
on Ninja right there. Oh, no. Taking out some of the floorboard. Yeah, and that, you know what? Not a bad strategy. No, Removed no, some of the no, flooring no, there, no. but oh, the sun is so bright. <laughs> <laughs> it seems as if Team Yellow decided to go for straight sabotage at this point in time. And it looks like uh, both BK and Krista are taking on Ninja at the same time. Oh, Trying to man. take him out, throw him overboard. He is struggling. This is not an FPS, is it? No, it is not. This is gang beats. This is where things are settled on the street, all disoriented style. But if I have to think here, who's going to come out on top? I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of shocked that none of our neighbors decided to just, you know, probably stop the reign of terror that we're seeing from the Red Squad and go after them. But instead, it has been all red the whole time. Absolutely. It feels like red is their biggest competition, so they should be going for them first. And that, that is exactly, well, well, actually, I was going to say it's exactly what's happening, but I stand corrected. It's Team Red that's going after everyone. This is domination unlike anything we've ever seen. Y'all don't come up with a game plan where we work together to get them out, they're automatically going to win. Y'all are playing for nothing. And the Team Yellow, they're actually keeping away. And I think that's Ludwig going to the other side. Not a bad strategy, but if you don't lock up the win, Barbara, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. And it looks like oh, no. Ludwig just took himself out of the match. You hate to see it, Barb. Yeah, I wonder if his arms are maybe uh, hindered by that big old snow jacket he has on. I'm actually shocked that no one has gone after the two uh, girls in red. Well, it, it feels scared. I, I mean, I, maybe so. They have really imposed their presence here, and the longer that this goes on, the better it's going to be for them. You know, I, I do take a, a little bit, not to be biased or anything, as hosts, we are completely unbiased. Oh, we've never been biased a day in our lives. Oh, no, but I, I do take a little pleasure in watching these girls dominate. Oh, I mean, I do as well, because right now, they're currently sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard, and if they're able to pick up the win here, that will be massive for them. I think Berlizzi has decided I need to just go ahead and make some soup. <laughs> and it looks like we also have uh, Black Crystal and Crystology chasing after Typical Gamer as he tries to avoid them and just, I guess... Time out the round? Yeah, I, I get a sure. draw. There's really nothing else he could do, but with two players just jumping on him like this, there's nothing more he could do, and that is another wow. win for Team Red. Yes, At yes, some point, no. who's gonna yes, stop baby. that? Yes, I don't think baby. Yes, baby. I'm not gonna jinx it. Knock on wood. You know what I think it is? State Farm Red, Team Red. So I think they're just they, they're just getting the State Farm time. buff. They're just feeling it. They're feeling it. This is a great map. We have trains going by on either side. We have different levels. We have a vending machine the players could use. We have a puddle. It's a very challenging map, but very fun to win. Yeah, it looks simple, but there could be a lot that goes wrong here. Now, while this fight's going on, Team Green just doing everything that they can to stay off of the tracks. Unfortunately for Red, as well as Blue, you got two players there. The train hasn't come quite yet. Oh, no, they're just dragging them in, and it seems like the Bash sisters are getting dragged into the track, and the train's going to be coming any second now. Oh, they got Red over and decimated. Oh, good God. <laughs> that was horrible. Hey, 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 be that hey. looked like it was painful. It happens, and it looks like they're consoling each other. You know, yeah. it was uh, yes. the first round that they lost so far in Game Beast. So Is it the first of many, though? One might have to wonder. Everyone went after them as soon as the round started. Oh, and a massive headbutt there by Berlizzi is actually going to send one of the blue players down to the track. Berlizzi's trying to keep Jessica. We have typical gamer in the fight going after I'm Dante. And TG's been looking for that win this whole time. He's been the final, final player every time, Barbara. It's true. He's come so close. And I think now that uh, they got the crystals out, he might stand a chance. Yeah, but do not forget. Oh, Jess just gets absolutely owned by the train and she is out but needs to get right back up as the sooner she can get up there the better because no one's contending her. Mm -hmm. It is tough though. This uh, in Gang Beast it's a little difficult to climb and especially when you are stuck down there with the train. The sacrifice! The sacrifice! Oh, the sacrifice doesn't pay off! No! Oh, he sacrificed himself! Dante is absolutely livid! Well, luckily Berlizzi is still in it for their team and he's taking Jess over the side, battling now with typical gamer, seeing if he can get him knocked out and into the train tracks. Impressive. And he does. If a train could come now, that'd be a, uh, ideal timing for him. It would be great. He's trying to keep him off. Berlizzi's trying to hold him down now. Train should be coming in a second here. That's what you gotta do. You gotta oh, hold him down. No. There we go. All right. Now 
push is Berlizzi and Jess in it. Okay, Jess is a great party gamer, but Berlizzi has been in this position before. Throws Jess down to the track, and Jess couldn't get up. Green gets their first. Green takes their first win, first point. Right now, we are sitting with BK and Christology in first, and Berlizzi and Dante in second with just one point. I, crazy to think that we have been four rounds into, five rounds into this now, and it has been one team in control, but perhaps this could be the turnaround for the rest of the group. We're now going to be into the fire pits of doom, and Dante just gets sent to oblivion. He does not look happy about that. Looks like Berlizzi immediately is targeting Crystal and BK. Yeah, but there's two of them and one of him, and that means that it could not work out. Meanwhile, up on the top, you have Yellow facing off against Blue. We'll check in with that fight in a moment. But as it stands right now, Berlizzi is just getting rocked here by Christology and Black Crystal. Oh, no. Oh, and we got fire happening in this round, too, which you do not want to land in because there is no coming out. Smart strategy, though, by Berlizzi to just get out of dodge. You don't want to stay in that fight any longer than what you need to. But patrolling down low, it's going to be one of the team members of Red, and it seems like Blue Squad's going to chase him down. One of my favorite little Easter eggs in this map is you can actually go through those doors in the little area down below and just kind of hang out. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, some people might think of it strategy. Some people might think of it as cheating. Or hiding, not willing to take a fight, not willing to get punched in the face. I totally get it. Yeah. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of ways you could judge them there. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Come Ninja on. and Jess looking for their first point here, but they still have not been able to make it happen. And, you know, it, you have to wonder for Berlizzi and, and Dante, they they have already lost a player. This is going to put Berlizzi in a real rough spot. And he's doing the smart thing and just getting away. Absolutely. He is avoiding this. He's letting the other players kind of hash it out and see what happens while he avoids all the chaos. Oh, they're bringing everyone to the fire here. This has been a rough fight, but it's split across each side. I think we just had an elimination. BK gets thrown out, unfortunately, for her. Ninja is coming after Christology right now, chasing her up the stairs, and then he, I guess, changed his mind to go back down. So Chris is just going to take her time, lay low physically and literally. I love that move. Team Green has been eliminated. Look at that. We call that the sloth. <laughs> the sloth. The sloth. Oh, Berlizzi is, thinks he's still, oh, he is still playing. Oh, yeah, he's actually inside, as you had mentioned. He was inside of that little uh, little room there, just trying to avoid any action. But action ended up making its way over to him. Absolutely. And it looks like we also still have both of our yellow players in with Ludwig and Typical Gamer remaining in, as well as Ninja and Jess. And they're sticking together, Barbara. Oh, Ninja and Jess have stayed together this entire time. Exactly what you want to see here from the team. It's a question of whether or not they will be able to close this one out. And the more the time passes here, the better that this is going to be. Oh, my goodness. Ninja almost jumped off of the platform there. But the longer that this goes, the better it's going to be. Oh, and four. For the Red Squad, but wow, I can't insane. believe the athleticism there from Christology. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, BK is really hyping her up, too, giving her teammate all the support she needs. All right, Ninja is still in it with Jess. They're fighting each other now all of a sudden, which yes. is hard to avoid when you're in gang beast because you're just, you're just brawling everywhere. Naturally, everyone just connects to one another here. Oh, the yellow player is going to be in the bad spot. That's typical gamer. And I think TG... Did get thrown out, Shake him so off. he's Shake him out. Off. Shake him off. Meanwhile, Ludwig falls in the hole, and now it's just going to be, it's just going to be Jess versus, I think that's Krista. Jess versus Krista. Yeah, we got two players. Wait, Berlis, he's still in it too. Oh, he's sneaking around. I see what he's doing. He's kind of avoiding the chaos, honestly. Him. Yeah, looking at him, just he's trying to pull a Drax, just blend to the wall. If he doesn't move, no one can see him. I wonder if the other two players even know he's still I don't think they're aware, and that's the reason why. But they're going to find out now because Krista's going to be marching across, and she sees the green player, and she calls it out. Uh, hey, Krista, Krista, like a good neighbor, you got to fight. And it looks like Jess is coming right towards her. You're good, you're good. Running the time limit, man. And we're going to see now if this can end up with another red win. But wait a minute, neighbors. It looks like we're getting a severe weather alert. The winds are starting to pick up and the temperature is plummeting. A snowstorm is headed straight for the gamer hood, Barbara. Oh. Oh. Gosh, it's freezing, Gosh. Golden Boy. Neighbors, I hope you're bundled up in there. 
close your windows and lock your doors because the snowstorm is making house calls. Oh no, this isn't good. Snowstorm? Uh uh. Uh oh. Oh no, we can't do it. Oh no, not this time. Not my hair. But that's going to be two points now for the green team. I think that we have entered. Oh, and it's the perfect map. Wow, you couldn't have planned it better. We are in. Uh, the North Pole, I think. Evidently. Somewhere with ice and buoys. Uh-oh. And very cold weather. But look at this. While everyone's trying to put their, their jackets on to bundle up and get ready, it's Berlizzi who is already prepared, and he tries to go after a few of the players that are standing idly by. It's true, and it looks like, uh, you know, Ludwig and Typical Gamer have their gift from Jake from State Farm, so they are cozy and ready to go, so maybe that'll give them an advantage when uh, the snowstorm kicks in. Ninja's trying to hold this one down. I think we ended up losing Jess early on. The snowstorm's starting to come oh. in. Oh, no! Oh, my God. That is a very crazy snowstorm. That's not good, and it's coming in from the windows as well. Oh, it seems like every time we get those windows nice and ready for whatever might come, they just they keep leaving them open. Oh, and it is coming from both sides for BK and Christology. Oh, jeez. I wonder how this will affect them because they are still in the lead, and I wonder if this will make them kind of drop out of there. BK is getting moved from her chair. Meanwhile, it seems like Dante is getting ready to bundle up. And what is Berlin? He put his, his scarf on his nose? <laughs> Stay back, bro. Yep, Stay back. Yep. See, look no at you. Way. Look at you. Look at you. What is that? Here's the next oh, one now. You got the, oh, you Trying to win this one. Of course, for Christology, they could get another win here. Would be huge for them. Absolutely. I feel like if they get it here, they're going to be even more uh, terrifying to the other team. Yes. Yes, they will. But, oh, no. Ludwig and Typical Gamer are getting hit by the storm now. And it seems as if they're holding on. And thankfully, that gift with uh, Jake from State Farm provided turned out to work for them quite nicely. All you got to do is put that hood on, and you're living in a nice, comfy lifestyle. Oh, my Dante and Berlizzi are again just assaulted by the storm. It seems as if the storm is methodically making its way to each and every house. And somehow, someway, it's just choosing where it wants to go. It's like the storm has a mind of its own. A mind of its own indeed. It is blowing all types of which ways, making it almost impossible for them to play their game. Still standing in this one, it's going to be Berlizzi and Dante keeping their self still in the matchup. You have Christology still going to be in this. Actually, BK still going to be in it as well. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm going to just... Hey, guys. Oh, the storm is coming in. It looks like uh, Dante is using a plate from his home to shield himself. Oh, and uh, Ludwig and Typical Gamer are using their gift from Jake from State Farm to stay cozy as that snow pours in. Looks like they're on the top of a mountain. Indeed they are. Oh. oh my gosh. So it looks like BK is still in it and Krista is coming over to help shield the snow. Wow. Even despite the snowstorm, they still managed to take the win. Five points for the red team. BK's already pulling out snow angels despite the storm coming in. Oh. Step it up. Next round, next round, next round, next round, next round. Oh, dang it, bro. Hey, why are you grabbing me? Hold on, y'all. This has got to be Chicago. This has got to be. I got you, man. I got you, Krista. I got you. Thank you. I'm throwing him. I guess I can't see very well. Help me. Help, Jess. Help. I died. I died. I believe you. Get down. Help. Get down. 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 Oh. Dude, who just can't, I just keep getting knocked. Oh, but don't do it. Okay, okay. Hot cocoa, right? Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. H
That's my missing home. ingredient. That's my missing ingredient. There we go. I, I didn't get it. No, I can't get that. Can we get some? Berlizzi and Dante have decided that they want to try and take some of the snow and turn it into what I can only imagine might be like uh, like water for, for a stew. Water for stew? I guess you could just melt the snow and have an endless supply of water there. I, I guess so. Uh, and that's one way to look at it. I guess when life hands you obscenely cold snow, you turn it into stew. That's the saying my grandfather used to say. Absolutely. That sounds like something a grandfather would say. It also looks like right now we have both Typical Gamer and Ludwig still in it with Jess. She is absolutely holding down the fort here for the blue team. Typical Gamer, stoic as always, nice and warm. Meanwhile, Ludwig, he is just getting dominated by the snow. And this is probably a metaphor for life, somehow, some way. He, he's just kind of just chilling. I feel like uh, that team is completely unfazed. Oh, BK is realizing that the cold just isn't stopping. It doesn't matter. Those, those thin uh, sweaters just simply aren't going to work there, Barb. I do not think so either. You do have, you do have the Tims, though. Yeah. You do have the Tims. Oh, you know, perfect. 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 Put a weather. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank That's God. That's a great choice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Too. Let me it's see you okay. get sturdy in NYC okay. real quick. Okay. Oh. Hey, it's hey, okay. hey. Okay. Yeah. 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 Two players are still left in this one. Don Tamberlizzi are helping each other in the snow. And oh, the grinder! And Jess is stuck in the grinder! And, and Ludwig gets eliminated despite the snow. Oh, can Jess hang on? Oh, Jess needs to hang on! Typical gamer was inside of there too, but Jess needs to hit him with a drop kick. It is tough once you get caught in one of those grinders, because if it catches you, you are going down. BK trying to just stop the curtain from pelting her face. Typical gamer, typical gamer trying to get the win. Jess is stuck inside the snow. It's going in her mouth. Oh, man. Yellow is the point. All right, so yellow is now on the board with one. We have green at two, and red still dominating with five wins so far here in Gang Beasts. It is their game to lose at this point. Wow. Well, this, uh, this map, I think, should warm them up. A bit more of a tropical atmosphere with all the fish and yes. water monsters. Something in a nice uh, nice aquarium here. But, uh, <laughs> wow, I can't believe just how stone-faced Typical Gamer is, no matter the conditions. Very impressed from him. Dante now in the fight again as all the players are right back at it and everyone's getting hit. And I, I don't even know how's Ninja doing. It seems as if he's doing relatively fine given the conditions. The snow's blowing all oh, over the place, but I think it might be too much for even him. I know. Typically with the, you know online gaming, you don't have to worry about the weather as much. Oh yeah, but here in the State Farm Gamerhood, weather seems to find its way to you know create a few uh, weird moments from time to time. Some mishaps, some might say. Now. I think Berlizzi ended up succumbing to the octopus monster inside of the pool. So goodbye to Berlizzi. Oh, but it looks like the wind is finally starting to slow down just a little bit here, but they, their home is covered in snow. That's, uh, that's gonna take a lot of work to clean up. Or maybe it'll just melt. Yeah, that too. That's always a plus. It could just melt. Yeah. You know, people often need to water their homes a little more. Yeah. Water your plants. Water yeah, plants. yeah, yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. Oh, well, we got this big old octopus in the middle or some type of sea urchin or creature, which could pick you up at any given moment and take you underwater and oh, take you Oh, no! Oh, she okay. escaped. Wow. Who else you? is left in this? We have one player from the yellow team. I want to say that that is typical gamer. No, that that is Ludwig. And then on the blue team, Ninja is going up against Ludwig. And we have Team Red still standing strong, just trying to blend in with the fishies. I wonder if the other two even know they're still in it. Potentially, but here oh. comes oh, the oh, octopus oh, monster. Oh. And she oh. somehow managed to not get caught in their grasp. And it looks like they are actually helping each other Ninja's coming at him, oh. coming strong, throwing punches, and he knocks one of them out and takes oh. Ludwig, oh. who also is just dressed just like Krista and BK. It's a little confusing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 
trying to hold on, but into the water they go, but Chris is fine. Oh, I don't think there's any escape in that. Ninja's out of there, so the last player left, it's just gonna be Ludwig. I think it's just a 1v1 now. It's gonna be Christology versus Ludwig. Does Ludwig get the win that he's been so desperately looking for here? And the octopus monster picks up Christology, but they drop right at the same time, and the fight continues. You got this, baby, you got this. This is intense. They also have a third player in the game, which is that sea urchin. Yes, the uh, sea urchin, the octopus monster, uh, the kraken, whatever you want to call it. Either way, you want to avoid those tentacles as much as possible. Oh no, but one of the players on the red team, Christology is going to get knocked down to the ground. Ludwig's going to go in for the attack, but can he follow up with the elimination? Oh, no. It's done. Oh, no. It's done. Yeah, so cold. Oh man, I am definitely not over I am so I am so cold that I'm sweating. <laughs> oh man, and that actually could spell doom and disaster as the octopus monster grabs one of the red players, Christology, oh. sent to the deep. And I think Ludwig's just trying to play possum here, potentially. Somehow Christology's still in this battle. But it I won't think be that, for long. Yeah, I can't see how she's gonna get out of it, and Yellow no gets wins. the win. Is that their first point? No, second point. We gotta go. No, I think that's their first. Oh, wait, well, you're right. This is their second. I'm so Blue sorry. The team with uh, Jess and Ninja, they have yet to score one. How much time do we got? Not long enough. Okay. We ended up losing Jess. I'm going, I'm going left. Meet you at the top. She has to come to the snow. Yes, but I think for now we're all good. Okay, now we head over to the nuclear plant. This is a difficult stage because it's just a giant hole in the ground. And if you toss someone over, it won't be the best place to go. So you want to try and get to those stair steps as fast as you possibly can. Just avoid that giant hole. It's not a fun area to play in. Oh no, and BK gets knocked out. And that was an elimination there, I believe, from Ninja. I think so too. I think actually both the ladies are out right now. Oh my word. Oh, Ninja takes him out. And it looks like uh, Dante is going to be chasing after the group there while Ninja circles back around. Ninja looking to strike, loses the teammate, but we got an epic fi uh, battle going on right now between green and yellow. Hey, calm down, calm down. Hey, whoa, we're friends, we're friends. We've got both Berlizzi and Dante still in it. We have Ninja and we also have Ludwig and do we have typical no. gamer in there? He is still in there, yes. Oh, oh no! Never another mind. elimination! I spoke too soon. Typical gamer is out of here. And I think that's just gonna be Ludwig still in the fight. We saw him pick up the win last round. And without the or, you know the crystal still in the battle, I think this is gonna be a good situation for whoever gets this point since we have so many twos, but that was a double knockout. So this could be the first point for Blue Team if Ninja could hold on. Oh, he needs holding on for Dear Life, trying to drag Berlizzi with a right hook oh. right to Ninja's noggin, but he still holds on, ever resilient. Oh, yeah. And he lets go. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate, but that is very fortunate for the green team who now have three. They are coming up close to BK and Krista, who still are in the lead with five. No more, no more. <coughs> okay, hey, I'm in it, I'm watching, I'm in it to win it. What's the plan, y'all? You like, we gonna work together or what? What? Just, just, just. Cause I'll throw you over. out. Yeah, yeah, keep it cool, keep it cool. I'll throw you keep out. And there's never cool in this game, bro. All right, never. this is one of my favorite maps. We have the fans that both blow up and suck down. So right. it makes it really challenging for the players not knowing which one's going to happen oh, no. when. Yeah, you, you never know where it's going to go, but everyone's going to get lifted up for right now. You, oh, no, more snow! Oh. More so snow is piling in now to BK. Let me go, let me go. The roof, the roof. There is no roof. Oh, no. This could be a cold one, Barbara. I don't think any of our players were ready for this one. And it seems like they couldn't end up getting buried by the competition. I don't know, Golden Boy. They might have to try to dig their way out of this furious flurry. Hold any second, Jess. And I still don't know what I call it. Hang on. Nope, nope. All right, let go, let go. Stop that. Sorry, I'm all right. Hey, but, hey, but, hey, but. Nice! Oh, and another win. Oh, not quite. Well, another elimination, I'd rather say, but. Now we have Ninja versus Burleazy again, and Burleazy falls down. Does that give Ninja the win, the first win of the blue team? It hasn't counted yet. Who is still in the battle? Yes! We got a win! 
take a second for the game to realize, but that is the first point for the blue team. So Ninja and Jess are moving forward now with one point. It's a very good... Uh, Scaled. Scaled match. Yeah, you know. One, two, three, and then five. Oh, this one, anything can happen. The highway of doom. Get knocked off your gun. Just one hit, and you will be eliminated so fast. Before you even blink, we ended up losing a member of the green team. It was Dante who gets needed onto the highway. Absolutely, and something you want to watch out for is those low-hanging signs that they're going to pass on the highway. they got to go flat against the truck for it. I think we now have only two players left. That was so fast. And it's just going to be Ninja and one of the crystals. No. I want to say it's Crystology. No. But, oh, and I think BK was hanging out low, too. Wow, Red Team takes yet another win for six points now. They are massively doubling the next highest score. You love to see it. This has been a squad that has needed a big win. But now we go to the dreaded elevator stage. And in this one, uh, the elevator can drop just like nothing. So you got to be careful. Just hold on, bro. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Yes. You're actually lying. All right, Krista. Thank God we upgraded insurance, honey. So we got blue team in one elevator, red team in the other. And in the right elevator, we have yellow and green. You're not getting me with that. You're not getting me with that. You got, I got it. you, bro. You got it. Nice. That's nice. it right there. That's it right there. The elevator now is starting to. Oh, oh, the elevator's buckling a little bit. You're chilling. And it doesn't matter which elevator you're in, either one can go. But oh my word, the snow has invaded. See ya. Typical gamer in Ludwig's home. The roof is completely gone. Typical gamer is blown away by it. Dare I say, he did not expect to be finding himself in a frosty situation like this. A frosty situation. I love it. Are you ready? It seems like a uh, winter wonderland in their homes right now. But I do think that Ludwig is given the cold shoulder to the conditions that they're seeing in their home. Hey, that's right. I love it. All right. Yeah, I think so. I think so. No, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. One we have One green foul. versus red. Two teams that have been going at each other's necks the entire time. And as it stands right now, it's only going to be one red player remaining. It's Christology. Ludwig and Typical Gamer are just being invaded into their home by the snow that is dropping down. And it's a draw. It's a massive draw. Which means no points awarded this round. And for Lizzie and Dante, the roof just caved in with more snow. Play. Looks well, like a, all of our neighbors are getting the brunt of it right now. Well, it's a good thing that they were able to well, oh, keep okay. their... Oh, my... Oh, oh the roof oh, is just yeah, falling no. apart. Well, they do not seem happy about that. Not at all. Now we make our way over to the boat stage. Now, this one you got to be very careful because some sharks tend to get a little excited around this boat. Oh, no. And the shark cage is there, too. And... Well, I think that uh, you're seeing how, oh my, how much snow is just falling into the homes right now. It's covering up the box that Jake from State Farm gave to Ludwig and Typical Gamer. You know, even though I spent 22 years of my life living in Canada, I don't know if I've ever seen this much snow at once. Yeah, I, you know what? There was the, the winter freeze of 96, but beyond that, New York hasn't seen anything like this either. Well, here in the gamerhood, we, uh, our weather's a little more unpredictable, I yes. guess. It's almost as if it defies the laws of physics, Barbara. Right. Oh, and sharks are jumping oh. across the boat. They need to be careful to make sure one of them doesn't grab them up. Christology's desk is completely covered in snow. Pieces of the roof have fallen down. And our gamers, though, this just goes to show you that when it comes down to gaming and winning in the State Farm gamerhood, there's nothing more important than competition, even when the conditions are at their worst. Absolutely. So right now, still in the game, we have Ninja, Dante, BK, Krista, and Berlizzi, as well as... Looks like Ludwig. Is Ludwig still alive? Yes, he is. Ludwig is still in this one. He's hanging out on the side of the boat. And I think we also have a typical gamer as well. So a few members of the squad, yellow team, still in this one. I think we just lost Ninja. He's out of there. And this is going to be a double up now on to Dante. Berlizzi's coming in with the help. We got a team versus team here. See if they're going to team up or take one out at a time. And it looks like they tried to throw each other overboard. It did not work. They're holding on for dear life, punching, kicking, slamming, trying to knock each other out. 
What a war. What a war we are witnessing. On the other side, I think Ludwig is still just circling around and Dante's gone. Yeah, Berlizzi could be in a bad team. spot too. Oh, and I think we just, we almost saw a life sacrifice, but it doesn't work out there for the Red Squad. That, that's a gift. I, that's an album cover right there. That is an album cover of some kind with Jaguar oh music. Christmas. Oh. Green and red. Green and red. All right. Oh, we actually have Ludwig and Typical Gamer still in it. I guess Typical Gamer was hiding somewhere. We did not see him. Oh, oh no. It looks like someone is overboard. So you got sharks on the oh, ship. You have oh. them. Oh, the no, shark. Go ahead. 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 <laughs> somebody go ahead. off the boat. I think that was Ludwig. Ludwig is just over it at this point, but Typical Gamer is still going to be in this one. The boat is tipping Marcus. over, which could actually end up being a huge I'm opportunity for that player that's hanging on to the bottom of the boat. Absolutely. No! Oh, and she lets go. Unfortunately, I don't think she could get back on unless she happens to grab the bottom, which might be possible. No, I think, I think that that player was eliminated, and now we find ourselves in a 1v1, Barbara. We have BK facing off against Typical Gamer, and for BK and Typical Gamer, well, for BK, rather, another point here could be monumental for them. Are we serious? Get to the wow. tip! Wow, it's yeah. capsizing! Oh, Look at the oh, amount of snow. Oh, the boat's tipping over oh. completely. Oh, no. He's got to hold on. Please, so Jack, does, don't let go. So does Typical Gamer. He's got to hold on. Don't let go! If they can get over that edge, that will help them out tremendously. Yep, but you got to get the hands up there. And no, the shark almost grabs Typical Gamer right in the bum, but does not lock on. And the boat's only going to continue to tip more. The water's starting to rise. The question is, do you want to let it take you? You might have to. Oh, 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 Team Red, oh, Team Red it, could be a time. It comes down to a matter what? of timing. How? Team Red and just stay alive long enough. And I think we're at a point where this is this is almost unwinnable for everyone else. It might be. We only have a few minutes left in gameplay. And Red Team, which is BK and Christology, are dominating. I don't know if there's coming back for anyone else. Yeah, that's very true, Barbara. Oh, big toss across there. And I think at this point, everyone has decided that they want to focus on red and not allow them to get the points. But the issue is now you end up in this situation where players are just getting thrown all over the place. Jess hasn't had an opportunity to get involved in the fight. We end up losing to all the players. It's a draw. Dude, I am immediately. Everyone just went back all right off the platforms. Yeah. No, it's not. So we're stuck like that snow is really affecting them. Dude, what just happened? Free point. How do we, right, we need a one more. We need a one more. <laughs> now we Let's go into the next right. round. It's right. time for the pier. Maybe you can get onto that Ferris wheel and get brought up to the top. And I think that's exactly what Ludwig, Ninja, Typical Gamer, everyone had the right idea. It seems like they're having just a nice, nice little time up there. I wonder if they're even going to fight on the Ferris wheel or if they're just going to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm also actually really impressed that our gamers, they're so focused on the competition that they're not even really worried about their roofs. I know, you would think that a homeowner would be a little more concerned over your roof cave and that's what I That's what I would do. But you know, when it comes down to the gamerhood, it's all about competing no matter the mishaps. Absolutely. They're in it to win it here in the State Farm gamerhood. Jen, Jess going after uh, her husband, Ninja. Yeah, not something you want to do. You want to try and work together here. They're going to need as many points as possible to stay competitive. They only have one point still. How about you not jumping? Uh, oh, I'm like swimming to the other side. I thought you're I over was doing the there. whole time, BK. The no, Ferris wheel starting to I fall apart. It doesn't look like it's going to be a place where you could be all that oh safe God. for too long. Oh, my. The snow. Seems to be a little, little game glitch over there with the railing. Yeah, that 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 oh, rail has a mind of its own. Unless there's someone hiding under there that I don't know about. Isn't it? Mishaps just happen to find their way the into all aspects of the gamer hood. All Marvel. aspects, Sorry. even in game beasts. <laughs> Ninja is grabbing. It looks like Ludwig. Ludwig. And typical gamer is just hanging out right at the base of the Ferris wheel. But here comes Berlizzi from the top rope, but he's gonna get kicked and sent down. And uh, BK is still in it. Krista looks a little cold. But she's enjoying herself, I think. Let's try. Let's try. 
one would hope. Oh, BK gets tossed over the edge. Can she get back onto the platform? She's trying to, trying to stay alive in this one, but no, the water is gonna claim their target. Why would I do I'm never letting you go, dude. Never let go, Jack. Jack, beat his ass. Let's go. Let's go, Jess. Now we're settling this in a 1v1v1v1, or I should say four, actually, no, no, no. We're settling this in a 1v1v1, a triple threat match to determine who gets the coveted point here, Barb. And this has been an epic battle. An epic battle indeed. Yeah. Gang Beast is one of the most fun games, and I've been having such a great time watching these guys kind of just duke it out. Pistachuff style. Jess is in hell. Jess, how are you stuck in that? All right, now we have Jess, typical gamer, and Berlizzi left in the game, unless someone is being a sneaky hider. Nope, it doesn't look like there are any sneaky hiders anywhere. We got ourselves a good old fashioned triple threat match. Typical gamer, looking to stay out of the fight. Berlizzi's getting dragged. He's yelling for collusion. <laughs> they do seem to be teaming up on him, both uh, typical gamer and Jess. <laughs> and this fight is gonna go up to the top. And Jess is trying to join in on the action, but if anything, I think she's in a better position just hanging out down here. I think so too. Let them, uh, let them handle it. Oh no, the Ferris wheel's losing its control. Hit the Ferris wheel. We'll be waiting. Spinning around and around. Let's see if uh... Jess is all the backhand. Oh. And Berlizzi in the Ferris wheel car goes flying off the surface. And now it's just left up to typical gamer. And Jess. And Jess hits with a headbutt, but a headbutt returned back. I'm, I feel like I'm looking at some of the, the great pro wrestlers of the time. Oh, Jess, grab onto the ledge, Jess. You can do this. They're underneath the pier. This is dangerous territory. Neither neither competitor is in a position where they can win here. And Blue takes up the win. So Jess takes the win. I guess she was the last to drown in that situation. They did a phenomenal job. And this is going into, Barbara, the last game. The last game. Well, Red Team last is... Last game! Last game! It is the last game, but uh, Golden Boy, I think there might be more snow coming. Oh, and it looks like all of our neighbors are getting pelted by the snow right now. It seems as if this storm is unrelenting. Wow, they have uh, mountains of snow in their homes right now. I wonder yeah. if anyone's gonna make a snow angel. At the very least, you could take some of that water and turn, or some of that snow, turn it into a snow. Oh, oh, it's falling from the roof again! Oh, and it looks like Dante is taking full advantage of the snow, or accidentally I fell one of the two. We're not sure, but what we do know, since this is the final round, it really yeah. isn't anyone's game. Yellow gets the win because the tracks, the, the train split up, and that is going to give Yellow three points. Try and try as just might. She couldn't secure the third one, but a valiant effort indeed. But I think at this point, our neighbors realize that Christology and BK were so far ahead, Barbara. Absolutely. There was no catching them after those first few rounds. They really dominated right out the gate. Battling through the snowstorm and finishing in top place, it's BK and Christology. Congratulations, Yay, guys. guys. <laughs> it seemed like it was a snow big deal for you guys to cinch that win. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Whoa. I mean, me and BK just locked in. We're locked in, baby. We're locked, We're locked in. in. You guys, and I'm from up north, so you know I'm used to the cold. You're used to the cold and, and the snow. And even a storm can bring us down. Yeah, no, apparently. It can bring down our roof, though. Absolutely. Well, you guys did phenomenally. You came right out the gate with those first couple of wins and just continued to just rock the house. How do you feel after your first win? You guys are going to go up against Jake. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, get into some warmth. Yeah, of course, of course. Now uh, I'm shaking, uh, but I can't tell if it's from the cold. <laughs> It could I think be. The, the adrenaline of winning, maybe. Yes, yes. Now, uh, we head down to our uh, current first place leaders going into this one, yes. Dante and Berlizzi. Fellas, it, it seemed as if at some point, Dante, your controller succumbed to the snow. It is gone forever. Uh, what, 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 what happened there? Because you guys were doing so well a few of those rounds. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I didn't expect... BK and, and Krista to be that good. Uh, it seems like they just got a knack for the game and a better understanding than any of us here. So, also, I don't know where my controller is. I, I honestly can't find it. It is a succumb to the snowstorm as well, uh, unfortunately, just like you guys did with that game. Yeah. 
Berlizzi, no, Berlizzi does not want to be heard from right now. He is, he is, he is putting hands up on the screen. They all teamed up on me. They all, they all teamed up on me. Hey, you know what Ninja and Jessica and Kristen BK. Berlizzi, it's because you're so talented that you're they're so all good. going for you. Yeah. You know, they you're so the gifted. Boys agenda is steady, planting seeds in all my neighbors. You know, it's. It's kind of the the downfall of being in first place because uh, yeah. everyone targets you. And also, yeah, I like that he's coming up with this Golden Boy agenda. You know, I ha I happen to have an aluminum, uh, like a tinfoil hat if you need it, Berlizzi. But okay, in any now, case, that, of, okay. Moving now, on. Now, now I'm a loony too. Now you're talking about my partner. Mo now I'm gonna have to step in. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> Moving on. Let's go to Ninja <laughs> and Jess. Jess, you were a formidable foe yes. out in the battlefield. I can see that your experience with party games are coming through. You and Ninja were trying to get things going, but a few of those rounds simply did not go your way at the beginning. What happened there, guys? Yeah, I think what happened, number one, is just we hadn't played the game before, so <laughs> it's exciting and it's fun. We were trying to gang up on the girls at, at one point because they were yeah. so in the lead, yeah. but got to give them props because, look, they still <laughs> pulled it through. I mean, yeah, they absolutely dominated, you know, and then you have Ludwig and Typical who were, hi who were finding hiding spots in every single map, and then I think I'm a... <laughs> And then I think I teleported through a wall like three different times, even though I was like perfectly centered. Someone just grabbed me and I just fell through the map and died. So you know what, man? I, I, I'm ready for a rematch, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna wait until the next Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Well, you guys all held your own. Ludwig and Typical Gamer, you guys did a great job as well. Uh, did have a bit of a different strategy, hiding in some places, waiting for the other folks to kind of eliminate each other. What was, uh, how do you guys feel after that match. Yeah, and do you feel like you took the coward's way out there? Oh, mm. he said it, not me. Could I give it to you in maybe actions, not words? Absolutely. Lay it on us. Oh. oh. What did you feel? Wow. Okay. They just they just cracked glass over their head. What I'm hearing is their hearts are shattered. Oh. We came in with a goal. That's we good. wanted to get second. We got second. Did it require a bit of hiding? Sure. Did it require losing all dignity? Yes. Do I feel dumber coming out of this? Of course. But we got second. Uh, <laughs> what uh, What were you guys given in that special delivery, by the way? Did it help out? Did it help you at all? No. No, it didn't. Okay. Honestly, it did a little bit, because, I mean, we look freaking really good right now. <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah, and true. honestly, we're a little warmer, so that's great. Honestly, I can't, I don't know how everyone else did it, uh, but yeah. Shout People out to talking about being cold? Not me. Bundled, I'm bundled right now. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe in uh, Jake's next special delivery, he'll have a new roof for the players. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, that would be key. That would be key for sure. Well, you guys all did a great job, but once again, BK and Christology, you guys took the win and are going to be facing off against Jake from State Farm. What do you, how do you feel? Do you think you could beat him? You think you could take him? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, last time, uh, last time he conceded. So I'm trying to see if uh, oh, we can take that full is victory. This, is this a revenge mm. arc for you, BK? Is that what we're hearing right now? It might be. Yo, Jake, I'm coming for you. Ooh. Well, uh, thankfully, Jake is nowhere to be found right now, so he did not hear that. Yeah, oh. and if he did, I'm sure single <laughs> tear, single tear. His ears are burning. Well, things Ooh. got heated during Gang Beasts, even with the snow piling up around them. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and take a quick look at our leaderboards to see how our players are doing. Mm -hmm. In first place, it's Berlizzi and Dante holding on with 11 points. Absolutely. And in second place, close behind, we have Ninja and Jess with 10 points. And in third place, it's BK and Christology with nine. But guess what? We have a tie because Ludwig and Typical Gamer also have nine. Wow, who could have seen that coming? It's a close game all around. Yeah, surely not me. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a quick break to let our players warm back up before the final round, where we are going to see BK and Christology go up against Jake from State Farm. We'll be right back, and I could definitely use some hot cocoa right now. Ain't that right, Barbara? Absolutely. Whew. Bro, what? <laughs> It's BK and Christology! Welcome back.
Welcome back to the State Farm Gamerhood Challenge. Now that everyone's thawed out a bit from that snowstorm, BK and Christology are getting ready for a race against Jake from State Farm. And uh, what kind of race will that be, Barbara? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Golden Boy. Oh, yes. For our final challenge of the day, BK and Christology and Jake from State Farm will be competing in a high-octane pedal car race where they will be putting five points on the line for a chance to double their wager or potentially lose it all. Oh, well, the teams have the parts for their cars out and ready to go. So all we need now is Jake from State Farm. What's going on, neighbors? What's up, neighbors? How you doing, Barbara? How you doing, Golden Boy? Good, good excited. to see you. Yeah, I'm excited. This is awesome. You look ready to go. Thank you. I, I am. I am. I got this nice this nice suit. Nice A nice ready. little number going on. You know well, of I mean? course, welcome, obviously. And this is going to be the final round of the day. Right. Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, this is a great way to end the last part of the day, you know, um, I'm not alone, am I? I mean, I look, mean, I know BK and Christology are definitely fascinating. Jake, I mean, surely you can handle it. I mean, you're Jake from State Farm, but I get it if you want to phone a friend. You know what? I actually have the perfect guy. Okay. And you've probably seen his viral art videos, customizing everything from schools to cafes, to painting detailed custom designs on hundreds of homes for those in need. And my personal favorites, are his wild philanthropy videos, like when he custom painted a hospital wing, then paid everyone's medical bills. So everyone, please welcome artist, philanthropist, content creator, and my good friend, ZHC. for the thunder. Oh. I wasn't ready for that either. They already have a oh. secret handshake. Going. My guy. Oh, ZHC, welcome to the gamerhood, man. How you feel? <laughs> Pretty good. Well, welcome ZHC. So happy to have you here teaming up with Jake. Have you met your competition yet? BK Hello. and Christology. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet we you. know each other. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, oh, we, we know. Okay, each other. okay. The competition's okay. hot. Uh, <sighs> some friendly competition going. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. this is going to be an exciting one, Jake. I know you guys are going to be uh, custom designing your pedal cars today. And well, who better to do it than ZHC? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right, we're going to collaborate. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. right. Help him out and support. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited to see how both of your pedal cars end up. Hey, hopefully you can just build me a super fast, but super safe car, you know, just to be BK in Christology. You know? It'll, it'll be fast, but it'll be awesome. It's going to be awesome? Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got this. Yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. I think you've chosen the perfect teammate for this race, Jake. Yeah. Care to start us off with the rules, Golden Boy? I got you covered there, Barbara. So here's the deal. Today's race is all about speed, accuracy, and style. Each team will have 10 minutes to complete the build of their pedal car, attaching wheels, seats, and most importantly, custom decorations. But watch out for that buzzer. Once the 10 minutes are up, your car is officially entered into the race. Wheels or no wheels. Ooh. Stickers or no stickers. But I think you're probably going to want the wheels. The race will start with one driver from each team barreling down the racetrack while facing many different obstacles. Drive safely and quickly to keep up your high score. Indeed, you need to. Now, when the first driver reaches the finish line, the second driver will jump into the pedal car and continue the race. We'll have four laps, so each driver gets a chance to go twice. The first driver to cross the finish line on the final lap wins. Now, the name of the game is speed and safety. It's not just about who finishes first, but also about running the best course as any obstacles that will trip you up will get you a time penalty. First up, the street market selling highly valuable and very breakable vases. Any vases you knock over will deduct one second from your time for each vase. Next up, be sure to make a full and complete stop at the stop sign. Fail to stop and you'll lose two seconds. Ooh, that's rough. Well, next up, it's the dreaded construction zone. Drivers will have to reduce their speed to make it safely through. Speeding gets you a ticket, deducting one more second from your time. Finally, they'll reach the park and go, where each driver will have to safely pull in, put their car into park, and then go. But a twist. If you get any time penalties, you'll have to stay parked until your time is up. That is right, Barbara. Now, once you've paid the penalty, take off as fast as you can for a straight shot to the finish line to trade with your teammate. Then it's their turn to do their best to drive a fast and clean course. 
So literally, drive safe and save your team from a plummeting into last place. Okay, exactly. And to help make sure our team stays safe, four of our neighbors have volunteered to work as the pit crew and time masters, just in case the teams experience any of those uh, driving mishaps, if you will. And don't forget, BK and Christology, you guys are going to be wagering five of your points for a chance to double your winnings or lose it all. Ooh, that's right, Golden Boy. We've got a lot at stake in this round. Neighbors, Jake from State Farm, ZA are you ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. All right, then, drivers, grab your monkey wrenches and start those engines. Your 10 minutes begins now. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my okay, goodness. We're doing it. What should we start with? Slippery. I'll start with the wheel. Okay, I'll get the keys. Guess we're going for it, Barb. Let's go. All right. All right. Yeah, what? Well, might as well. Uh, What's the worst that can happen? Over here. Okay, so Barbara, this is where things are going to get very complicated okay, you, here right? because remember, you have 10 minutes and you think All that's right, a lot of see, time, so but you're using a lot of tools right here. Right. You need to make sure that you get the wheels tight onto the pedal car. That's going to cause some problems. Absolutely. And it looks like uh, right, they got good. some help from Ninja over there and Jessica with yep. Team BK and Christology helping them get those wheels on, making sure they are secure. And we also have the peanut gallery. They are harmonizing. Yeah, <laughs> harmonizing their way right out of the gamerhood. Okay. That was beautiful. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd have dinner and a show. Wow. <laughs> Without the dinner. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Two shows. <laughs> and uh, limited on the show, but we'll make do with what we have. All now, right. there are going to be two wheels here, Barbara, and as it stands right now, both competitors, both teams have managed to be able to place their wheels down, but they got to ensure that those wheels are secure because if they're not, it could spell doom out on the track. Ooh, that will be a problem. We uh, want to make sure they are both fast and safe, so making sure those wheels are secure, very important. Do this. Here, screw this one. You can get on that one. Yeah, you do this. You want to do the steering wheel? How about, steering wheel or seat? how about I work on other things? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I am and somewhat entertained watching a bunch of gamers try to build a vehicle. I think that's usually not our forte. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm curious how many times uh, BK and Chrysology have actually had to construct a car in their experience. Because I know for me, the grand total is zero. Why did the blind uh, man fall into the wall? <laughs> minus one. Fair enough. Okay, so we're getting the seat placed down. It seems like over at Jake and ZHC's team, they're doing a great job of just really ensuring that the screws are nice and secure. Meanwhile, for Christology as well as BK, I think they just settled that maybe the seat can just be a little wobbly. They're willing to sacrifice time on that, and we are just past two minutes at this point. All right, so they still have a good 80% of the way done. Two minutes has just passed. So they got eight minutes. They want to make sure things are on properly, but also that it looks nice. So hopefully they still leave some time for themselves to decorate at the end. Well, all I'm going to say is, right now, our competitors are playing with fire. I'm seeing a lot of washers that have not been used. I am seeing uh, some, I guess, of the mud flaps that haven't been used either. This could potentially be an interesting race. It could be. Yeah. And also, you want to make sure that you're getting the wheels on at the right side. I'm going to drop Oh. <laughs> That's the wrong lug nut. The peanut gallery. It seems like we have some mansplaining happening. We really us. do. We really do. You guys, I think you I'm know, at the mansplaining gallery I over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, our ladies are doing a great job getting their wheels on, spinning nicely. And it seems like Jake and ZHC are doing a good job as well. They've managed to get it off of the lift, and they seem to be okay. They're testing the wheel out a little bit. This feels a little loose. This is hard to do with nails. I just want to say. I just want to say. That is fair, Christology. I've encountered that problem many a time in the past as well. Okay, but getting the hood is going to be very important here. Absolutely. Jake's working his magic, getting the steering wheel secure, making sure it turns those front wheels. 
And the ladies back here are making sure their seat is on. All right, this is some heavy machinery. Watch your feet there, BK. Watch your feet. We are not distracted. Someone uh, is passing gas distracted. behind us, I think. Oh. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of hot air coming from them over there. Yes. Okay, so both competitors have managed to get their, their, their pedal cars down and they're starting to get their steering wheels put in. I think it needs like to be tightened. And we still have a, a good amount of time left on the clock. A lot of time left. I think that's good. We're about to hit the five minute mark. Absolutely. So they still have half the time to decorate and make those cars look nice. Yeah. All right, now we can decorate. I'm gonna break stickers And it out. seems like uh, the other neighborhood oh, contestants okay. are doing a great right. job of I trying to throw us off here. I think you need here. this horn. Yeah, to the fact that I couldn't even remember the word neighbors. Yes, I guess so, because <laughs> I wanted to call them something else. Yeah, exactly. Oh, let's do that. Our, uh, our peanut oh, gallery yeah. neighbors back there, yes. I think are rooting mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. BK and Christology don't because they don't want them to win. They want them to get knocked back down. Evidently, that is the case. And if there's two competitors that want them to get knocked down a peg, it is certainly going to be Ludwig and Typical Gamer, who have lost the Jake from Good State Farm enough. in last week's episode. Yes, let's yeah, not forget. Okay, and we are now over five minutes. So you have five minutes remaining. You're doing great, guys. This Get is a decorative process. Decor. It looks like BK is starting to pull out some of those arts and crafts supplies. She has some stickers. She's got some scissors there. A rubber duck. Now, I'm expecting BK and Pr Christology to put their personality on the pedal car. And for ZHC, I'm actually curious to see what he's going to do. And I think he's actually putting a flame decal trying to show off that their car is going to have speed. Wow. It's a, that's what happens when you have an actual artist on your team. Yeah, yeah. But... I think we're going to get a lot of personality here from Christology as well as Black right. Crystal. How is that, how does Meanwhile, that, like, Jake is starting to put his decor decorations on. Jake, what do you? What kind of decorations are you looking for? Put a little hula girl on the side so we can tap it when we're ahead. You know? Okay. Someone's dancing okay. while they're behind us. I, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Christology, what are you guys putting on? You getting you know, putting some funny names on it so they know your names. Who's winning? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, well, oh. Excellent. Hey, uh, don't catch me in the crossfire. Ninja catching the strays. Seems like Ninja's catching some strays right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to help out. He just He's just he trying just, to be a good just, neighbor. He's just oh, supporting them. Yeah, More flames starting to come in for ZHC. Oh, my so cute, looking good. Oh, these uh, these pedal cars are looking not only stylish, but fast. Indeed they are, but I will be honest with you, Barbara. I'm a little worried about the structural integrity of some of these vehicles. Yeah, you and this is going to be a fascinating ride. Yeah. I was going to, but Hopefully, uh, dangerous, so everything will stay on. I don't even know do if that. BK Chrysology yeah. secured their chair. Were they supposed to? I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, worst case scenario, I guess it'll just stay in place. Oh, here comes Ninja. Oh, he's coming to help over, help the decorate, or make it uglier. I don't know. It could be. It could be sabotage. He's trying to help out a little bit. Jake's using his... Uh, little a uh, wheeled stool like a, a typical mechanic would. You always have to have a wheeled stool in your household. Absolutely. You like, kind of like Why? Like, Don't yeah, ask. Don't have a car. I'm from New yeah. York. I keep pressing a little bit more. All right. How are we doing on time? We are now okay. at seven minutes, 30 seconds, team. Seven minutes, 30 seconds have now passed. Only a few minutes remaining. Two and a half, to be exact. Math is not my strong suit, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that's like. You loose. got it. I'm here for you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you Don't so worry. much. Right? Ooh, those flames on the front are looking very nice, very fire. Yeah, well, we haven't actually had a chance to see the front part of uh, of, of BK and Chrysology's car yet. I know. Oh, is that off like that? I don't worry about it. Okay. We are now at eight minutes. You have two minutes remaining. The two minute warning. You're on the flames. That's fire. Duckies on That's the side. Awesome. And if there's one thing I know, so cool. duckies are intimidating. I'm like really hot right now, yeah, so. and I think maybe it's there for good luck. That too. Nope. Pat the little duck's head, get a little speed bump. All right, okay. BK's testing it out. That chair looking a little wobbly. Yeah, I, that's what I said earlier. The seat's a touch wobbly. They only have a few, no, like less than a minute left. Oh, and a, a small play, an obnoxious horn to really bother your competition and, and really get in their heads. Yeah, definitely. Get in their heads and their ears. I do, but get in their heads through their ears. Yes, and, and some might say just a, a flat out invasion of the brain and their privacy. Yes. Yeah. For some reason. For some reason. Belt.
Are you want to wrap them like this? Oh, yeah. we might get some decorations there oh. on the right wheel. It seems like the left wheel's not getting a lot of love, though. Yeah. There you go. Make sure it doesn't hinder the spinning of the wheel. That's all that should matter right now. Exactly. And now we are at one minute remaining. If you have to secure any parts of your vehicle. Like your chair, perhaps. Then it should be a good time to do it. Make sure those chairs are secure. If you have any horns to place, place them now. Should we hammer it in? Any flames to finish drawing. If you want to use the mallet for whatever reason, you have 30 here, seconds here, let's left. Let's hammer this in. Let's hammer this in. Use all the tools at your disposal is what they saying. That's a way to do it. <laughs> like this? Yep, you're nailing it, kid. OK. Keep it going. All right. Good job, Chris. I, mean, I have no idea if that's what you're supposed to do. What do you, you know what? We're just going to roll with I've it. I've never built a pedal is that <laughs> Neither <laughs> have I, Barb. But let me tell you, wow, something wow, doesn't wow. seem right. OK. <laughs> 15 seconds remaining. Yeah. Like we're gonna be skirting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Get ready with the horn, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, drivers, drop your tools and get your cars to the starting line. It's time to start this race. up knocking one of those over. That's not good, but it seems like ZHE is doing a pretty solid job so far. Good job stopping as well. Good stop indeed. So she is going to take that penalty. Oh, she has stopped and had a hard time getting going. Dante oh, yeah. is directing traffic right go. now as well. And now this is the important part. You're going through the construction go. zone. The you got to be a little slow here. And of course, we have our helpers on the track <laughs> making sure everything's nice and clean. But so far, so good for ZHC. And look at Christology just going that, through that construction zone with style. Absolutely. And now they're going to have to do the parking, which they have to pull into the parking, parking spot. Stop, 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 stop for a second. moment what? and go no, back out. No, so Christology no. comes in. She has that one second penalty, though. Wait, wait. And now she's able to go. What? Now she's able to go. Now she's able there to go. There she goes. Dante is trying to make sure that she gets going. ZHC has gone over the speed bumps and is almost back at the beginning of the course. Now remember, this is going to be a straight shot here, but Christology's got to get it. And I think, yes, so we are going to switch over to Jake now. It's going to be Jake's turn to go through oh my goodness. and see if he crashes through some of the vases, which could be quite problematic with those broad shoulders. He's doing a pretty good job maneuvering around them, not crashing into any so far. But Christology is on her way back quickly now, and BK is going to take over on that race. Well done. Coming up to that stop sign, going over the speed bumps. All right, now it's going to be Christology's turn here. They got to back her up a little bit so that she can get going. Ninja with the help there. A the good go. neighbor always you, helps out there those in need, but Jake is in a gingerly drive a through the gamerhood. Drive. Absolutely, and I must say their car looks incredible. Oh, absolutely stunning. Now, don't forget, for BK, she's going to have to be mindful of the fact that she needs to stop at the stop it's sign. The stop sign. Dante is there to let her know. Absolutely, Dante gave her the go ahead. We got Jake going through the construction zone very nice and tenderly. Oh, Jake is vibing. He is vibing through the construction zone. But now BK, she's got to make up a little bit of time here. But Jake has had a flawless run so far. Absolutely, he's going into that parking spot right now. And BK is gingerly going through the construction zone as well. It's hard to catch up when you need to go slow. You can use it. A lot of gingerly driving here. But BK is about to turn the corner. Jake is now going to be in a good position to go. BK needs to be oh. careful, and she's good. All right, she's not going to make her way over to the parking spot, but so far, this is looking like a clean sweep for not Jake from State Farm and CHC. Oh, it looks like they are running away with this race. They are about to finish, and... Wow, they have to do it again. They have to do it again. ZHC, it's now ZHC's turn. Just got excited for Jake. Here comes BK down the speedway. 
Right on Gamerhood Lane. Okay, she is making up some good time for her team, I must say. Trying to. Now ZHC. As he goes to the stop sign and okay, oh, full okay. stop. follows okay. the rules. Come on. Excellent. Rules. Slow and steady. Remember, safety Watch is key Watch the water. Here. Exactly. You always want to be safe Stay when up. you're on the road. Oh, wow. Plain and simple. On, but as we go, go back Trail. over to the action, it is going to be DK trying to make up. Oh, excuse me. It's Christology trying to make up some time. She saved herself at the stop sign. And now she's going to try and get to the construction zone as fast as possible. I wonder if Dante will have a little leeway with her, letting her maybe, uh, you know, take up some time in that what? area. So far, this has been a dominating race by ZHC and Jake. Barbara. It's true. They got the lead early on, and they kind of held it from there. I don't know if they can make up the time, but they're going to do it. Their, they're going to give it their best effort, honestly. Now, is this going to be it for them, or do they do another round? Come on, Dante! And now Dante has given the okay. Chrysology's turning this one around. She's going to try and hit the straightaway. And we're down now to the final moments. Oh, we got a little bit of sabotage there. Okay. BK trying to get into the chair. A little bit of sabotage there, slowing Jake down as Christology comes back to the finish line. And BK is going to take the last round for their team, seeing if she could make the lead. And Jake is just trying to take his time on that one. It's all about just setting up your teammate for a good run and whether or not they can find the lane. And look at that. It seems as if you're getting a little push here. Is it going to cost them? BK clears the vases. Wow, what an impressive use of that motor skill she's got there in her pedal car. Full stop. Excellent job to BK. And now she's slowly catching up to Jake, who's entering the construction zone right now. But the question remains. Can they make up the speed on the straightaway because they're right next to each other? On, and BK, BK, I think once she clears the construction zone, she needs to book it for the parking spot. I That's know. where she's going to win this race. It could be anyone's game. It all depends right here on this parking situation. Go, Jake BK. is going to clear it. BK is going to clear it. But now this is when she's got to put pedal to the metal and get to that parking spot as soon as possible. But she can't go, afford go, any go, turns. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, and Jake no, is no, going to be the to be the going 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 to be the and another wow. one bites the dust, Barbara, to Jake from State Farm and his guest. Okay, BK, Christology, you all ran an amazing course. And trust me, I'm sure you all are going to make some of those points back in the next few weeks. I hope so. Okay? I know so. I know so. Um, so now that the official race is over, uh, what do you say we play pit crew and bring some of the neighbors on in? Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 so they know how hard this was. Yeah, yeah they understand us now. <laughs> Come on, Dante, it's you. <laughs> 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 Oof, that was a rough one. They just lost five points. Yeah, well, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles in the gamerhood. Absolutely. Well, Golden Boy, from starting off with a rush through the sugar maze to an electrifying round of Gang Beasts to the Pedal Car Relay Race, it certainly has been an adrenaline-fueled day. Well, Barbara, like I said, nothing goes wrong in the gamerhood. Except for that snowstorm. Yeah, except for that snowstorm. Luckily, at least two of the neighbors were well prepared, thanks to Jake from State Farm. Absolutely. And so before we end things today, let's take a look at the leaderboard where we stand. In first place, we have Berlizzi and Dante with 11 points. But right behind them with 10 points in gaining, it's Ninja and Jess. And in third, we have Ludwig and Typical Gamer at nine points. And unfortunately, in fourth place, after losing that wager, BK and Christology only have four, but plenty of opportunity to gain that back. Absolutely. But with that, we are one step closer to discovering who will win the coveted key to the State Farm Gamerhood and the ultimate title of Ultimate Gamer. That's right. And of course, a $100,000 donation from State Farm on behalf of the winning team to the charity that they're playing for. We'll be back next week for more Gamerhood challenges. More Gamerhood surprises. And definitely no more Gamerhood mishaps. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could go wrong?
long. Anyways, tune in next week on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern on the same Gamerhood channel to find out. We'll see you then, everyone. Bye-bye. See you guys later.